Hey guys, my name is Utsav and I'd like to welcome you all to this Adobe InDesign tutorial for beginners. So what we're going to do first is we're going to open a new document. So for that we're going to click on create new right here and this thing pops up. So as you can see there are different tabs up there. The recent tab, you see the recent projects that you worked on. The save tab, you see the projects that you worked on before and maybe haven't worked on, uh, edited or uh, modified them in a long time and the print web and mobile tab where we can create a new document for us so print uh, you can see the different do blank document presets that are already right here so usually use this for creating a magazine or anything type of a digital magazine digital brochure so now going to the web you use this presets if you are designing something for the website and if you're designing something for a mobile of a smaller resolution you can just go down to the mobile so now we are uh, we will just go down to print and create a document for us all right so now you can see that there are different blank document presets later legal tabloid and a half later so now as you can see the resolution for the letter 51 po by 66 po so now po means picas and it's a different unit and if you're not familiar with this unit you can always use a different one that you're familiar with so just go to units right here and select the unit what you want points inches millimeters centimeters and all that and even pixels all right so let's try using inches right now okay and so now creating a document that we want and that's a standard size for us so we just go down to the width and we put it 5 inches and for the height uh, you can just put it about 10 inches okay and you can also set up the orientation of the page if you want it to be a portrait you just click on portrait and if you want it to be a landscape you can just click on landscape right here all right Okay, so Adobe InDesign is mostly used for designing magazines and editing them. So if you used Photoshop before or if you don't, I'm sure you know that Photoshop is mostly used for editing pictures or designing some kind of single page posters. But in InDesign, we create a whole magazine. So for that, uh, we can even select the number of pages we want in the beginning. But right now we're just gonna create a single page just for practice because it's the first video and uh, so we're just gonna put it to one and the facing pages you want to, you can just put them on that's all right and start okay so maybe you want to design a cover page later and you want to work on this from the second page at first so you can just put in two so you can start in the second page but we only have a single page so we're just gonna put it to one right now okay all right so now coming down to the columns uh we ain't gotta worry about them too much you can just leave them as it is and margins so margins are you can just imagine them as some kind of invisible invisible borders around your document you know so that all your documents have the same kind of borders and uh, occupy the same kind of space around the sides uh, through all the pages and you can put the top border to be a little more smaller you, for that you need to go, just go down here click this button okay and so now you can just select it you can make it different because if it was selected uh, it will all change together at the same time and now on the next one we have this thing called bleed and slug so what it really is is that it's just a uh, part of the paper that's about to be cut out and it's just a board of it you don't really gotta think about it that much but just try to remember that uh, when we print the paper for the magazine we don't print out a single paper and we tape it together so we print out a cutout and we cut out the only part of the magazine that we want so we, in reality we print out a bigger paper and we only cut out the edges to the size that we want so you can just think of the bleed and slugs as those things and we don't really need them right now okay uh so it seems like we're all set to go oh the templates so these are just the templates that are ready made the frames have already been set in 
and we work a lot in frames and in design and you can see that in the next video so these are in the templates you find all the frames that have been already filled out you just gotta put the picture in and just type in the text that's it all right so it looks like we're good to go and we press create okay so guys this is it for this video we'll go through all the interface and creating basic steps in the next one thank you